Hello everybody, Luna Lisa here. Well, Halloween has come and gone. We dressed up anyway, even though we weren't allowed to go trick-or-treating. We're here where we live. We weren't allowed to have any get-togethers or like parties, but um, we still celebrate it. Me and Jacob, we still celebrate it. They weren't going to, you know, stop us completely, you know? Uh, I dressed up. Jacob dressed up. My husband doesn't dress up for Halloween. And, um, we had fun. We had fun. Jacob did his s'mores. We did hamburgers on the grill. And, uh, we had, we had a pretty good time. Pretty good time. And, uh, look what I have in my pocket. I, I stole it out of Jacob's bag. <laughs> so they did this around town where several businesses and I think our local mall, our lake, they were giving out candies, but when my husband went to take Jacob, so I stayed here at home to cook the cupcakes, to make cupcakes, um, he took him to the lake, but the line was like very, very long, so he didn't get to go to the lake or to the mall. Like both places were just very, very packed, and um, because people were like, had nothing to do. It's like, I understand why they did that. But, you know, at least kids got candy. Jacob got some candy. And uh, I got some for me. <laughs> we always, I always check his, his candy bag. And I got me some m &Ms. But I hope everybody had a good Halloween where you guys live. And uh, I wanted to come on here just to show that they didn't break our spirit. We dressed up. My my Jacob was a clown. I was like a ventriloquist slash doll. And, um, yeah, we had a good time. We had a really good time. I hope next year this COVID nightmare is over and done with. And next year will be better. And, um, I hope so. I really hope so. So how did everybody celebrate? Comment down below. What you guys do? I'm curious. I really do hope everybody had a really good time. Despite us not being able to go trick or treating, we had a good time. That's important. I wasn't able to celebrate with everybody that I wanted to, but but we had a, a pretty decent time. Better than doing nothing at all. So comment down below people, tell me what how you celebrated. And um I would like to hear from you, see what you guys did. I'm done. When I go to take off this makeup, go take a shower because I smell like like fire, firewood, burning, burnt firewood. Jacob did his s'mores. He loves doing that. Oh look right here. Look, it's all getting all. It's a 
already like falling off and melting. It's supposed to be like make your eyes look like you had big huge doll eyes, but it only lasted just a little bit, so. But yeah, look, it's already falling all off. Falling off, melting off. But it's, it's fun to dress up, act silly. Cause it's Halloween, you can do whatever you want. Dress how you want. Be who you want. And uh, that's why I love Halloween. You can just literally be yourself. <laughs> People think that you're being the character or whatever, but you're actually just being yourself. That's what I like about Halloween. Okay, well... Oh, my daughter has friends that like live in San Antonio. We don't, we don't have like a home, a bunch of, you know, Dollar Trees here. We only have two, and everything sells out in these in these two Dollar Trees that we have. So my daughter has a friend that's in San Antonio right now, and she found us. <laughs> I'm just so happy. She found us the gnomes that me and my daughter have been looking for. The dollar gnomes, the ones that are like this high. The 12 to 14 inches high gnomes that are for a dollar. They have the three color, the two, two uh, different red and the gray. So we're going to get them. I can't wait. I can't wait. So I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. My ha I'm happy. My daughter's happy because we because we got them because we've been waiting and waiting for them, and uh, our uh, our daughter trees haven't got them. I don't know if by the time it trickles down where we live, we're better, we might get them maybe in a few weeks. I don't know. Our daughter trees always like it seems to me that we're the last to get whatever item that's like really popular and everybody wants. We hardly invest. Sometimes we don't even get them. And you know what I've never gotten over? You know those little bamboo little, um, what were they? Cutting boards? We never got them. Equal Pass never got them. This city never got them. Our Dollar Trees never got those little damn little cutting boards. And to this day, I'm just like, why? Why didn't we get them? <sighs> so, I don't know when we're going to get these little gnomes. But you know what? Oh, well, who cares? Because we already got them. And, um, yeah. My daughter showed me something else. And I was like, oh, my God. You're gonna have to find it for me. I'm not a very huge, like, Ray Dunn addict. I have a few pieces. I do. I do have a lot. Like, like all her birdhouses. I have a good collection of those birdhouses because I like them. And, uh, and then my kitchen. I have a lot of pieces, but they're like a lot of the basic. I don't I don't go for like the Christmas canisters, the Halloween canisters and thing um what's what other does she do? Uh, Valentine's or Easter or whatever. Like I really don't do all that. Like I only have in my kitchen like the basics. Uh, that's the majority of what I have. I have like the pie plate and and the you know, the basic canisters, and then I have like those little salt and pepper with the little wood top, and then I have like a little gravy boat, and then I have the butter dish. What else? Um, I'm not really all that, I'm not as much of an addict as my daughter, because my daughter, she has, oh my God, 
her collection is outrageous and um, she showed me that they that Ray Dunn made uh, the fall gnomes I think it, it it looked like Thanksgiving colors and I was like <gasps> sweetie you need to find me that gnome I need that gnome I need it I want him so badly so I hope and I pray that she will find me that gnome so yeah pretty much just wanted to come on here and uh, make a quick video that Halloween was celebrated here even though it was kind of canceled and ruined you know but what can you do okay well make sure you comment down below how did you guys celebrate I would like to I would like to read your answers and um, give me a like a thumbs up a like and you can subscribe I don't even know where the subscribe button will show up or or do you even have to add that I don't even know I mean like, I'm not like those like really tech savvy like I see like all these ladies make these videos and they have all that bread and they have that little subscribe little picture down here and then they have all kinds of stuff you know I'm just like I just film on my iPad just press record and then stop that's all I do I don't have all that elaborate and my husband's like, if if you like doing these videos, I'll get you a camera. I'm like, yeah, I would like a camera, but then I don't know how to, how am I going to upload that from the camera? And I would like need like a computer. I don't have a desktop computer. I I used to have one, but it's totally outdated dinosaur. You paid so much money, and then and then it just becomes obsolete, and then you just like, what do you do with it? You just end up throwing it away. Why well, didn't throw it away? I have it there stored in my storage room, but it's like it's just there. I haven't even bought any any more computer. And my husband wants to buy me a, like a smaller version of the computer and he and he's like want to get me a camera and I'm like but I don't even know how to do all that. I just don't know. I just barely know how to do this just with my iPad. I don't even know how. <laughs> Comment down below if you're like me, if you're like in the Stone ages, or you don't know how to do all this technical stuff. My daughter was like, "Oh yeah," and she goes, "Oh yeah, you can, you can record on your phone and you add it to your video." And she, goes, "Oh, you just do this," and she was like explaining to me, and I was just like, "What?" You know, like, sweetie, you lost me at. You just go here. <laughs> she, I just didn't understand any of it I was just like no I don't know how to do all that so I'll just do it the old school way just do this how I'm doing it now oh well maybe later on I'll start learning and I don't know when you grow up in the 70s 80s you're I'm more old school I didn't grow up with computers. I didn't grow up using. I, yeah, my dad got a computer, but you, do you remember those old computers back in the eighties? They looked like big old huge, like big old those old TVs. Have you ever seen those? They were so like at that time it was high tech, but if you see those now. 
you'd be like, what the hell is this? What is this big old thing? Yeah, my dad got one of those computers, but it was like really, like, I, I didn't know how to deal with it. So, I grew up at that time. So, I'm 50 years old. I'm 50 years old. And uh, I don't know any of that tech stuff, so. I do what I do. Okay. Rant over. Rant over. So. I hope everybody had a wonderful Halloween. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.